today I'm going to show you how to make a little set of earrings. This is just kind of a little creation of my own. I was going to make a more complicated design to make a bracelet or something, but as soon as I had one little component made, I decided that I kind of liked it just as an earring. So as you can see, this is just kind of a crystal encased seed beads and crystal, and this is a little piece of Howlite um, turquoise. And um, I'm going to show you how to do this today. I'm also designing a necklace that I'll show you at the end of the video. And as soon as that one's designed, I will make that. I am sorry for my long absence, um, but perhaps I can get a couple videos up and run them for you this weekend. But let's look and see what we need to make this little project. Okay, for this project, you're going to need two 10 millimeter round beads. I'm using this little Howlite um, turquoise color glass bead. Well, actually it's halite, so it's a stone bead, but it's 10 millimeter round. <clears throat> then you're going to need about 12 4 millimeter bicones, and then you're going to need some 11 o seed beads, and I'm using the galvanized silver to Toho 11 o Then you will need two ear wires. I'm going to use a silver plated lever back ear wire, and then you will need two wire guardians. You will also need a size 10 beading needle and uh, about an arm length, one arm length and a half of eight pound fire line. And we'll get started. Okay, so to start this, you are going to need to pick up two 11 o seed beads, one bicone crystal, two 11 o seed beads, one bicone crystal, and two 11 o seed beads, like this. And then you will pick up a 10 millimeter round bead, just like this. And you bring this all to the end of your thread. <clears throat> you don't have to leave a long tail, just enough to tie a knot when we travel back around here. So this is what you should have. Now come back through from your tail side all the little beads that you added and then back through your 10 millimeter round just like this. Hold on to the beads and pull them around into a circle like this. Now I didn't leave a very long tail, but I can tie a knot with it regardless. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my working thread and my tail, and I'm going to tie a little knot here. Maybe I should have left a little longer tail. Mm -hmm. I probably should have. Oh well. <clears throat> so I'm just going to do a little overhand knot like that. Tighten everything up, and this is what you should have. Then we're going to come back up through the uh, stone again, like this. Then we're going to pick up two 11 o seed beads, a bicone crystal, two 11 o seed beads, a bicone crystal, and two. 11 o seed beads. And then we're coming under this side of the stone. We're going to go into the opposite side and pull them tight. And then we are going to sew through all of the beads we just added. So we're coming on the stone. We're going to go back into the little beads around the side of the stone here. Just make sure you go through all of them. and then back through the stone, like this. Now I'm coming out of my 10 millimeter round halite stone here. I'm going to pick up two 11 o seed beads, <clears throat> a bicone crystal, two 11 o seed beads, and a bicone crystal, and two 
11 OZ beads. I have 15 O's mixed in here. That's why I'm so slow here. Sloppy, sloppy putting beads away. Okay. So this is what I have. And I'm going to cut... I'm coming out here. I'm going to go into the other side of the stone again. Now, if you want to use a 12 millimeter round instead of a 10 millimeter round, you can do that. You just have to add probably one more seed bead all the way around, maybe two. So where you have two, you'd add three all, so that it'll go around your bigger bead. Then you're going to sew back through the beads you just added. <clears throat> and then through the stone. And then, now that I'm coming out of this, the big bead again, I'm going to pick up Two. Make sure that your little beads are nice and tight. You don't have any slack. Pick up two 11 o seed beads, a bicone crystal, two 11 o seed beads, and a bicone crystal, and two 11 o seed beads. Like this. And then we're going to go into the opposite. We're coming out here. We're going to go into the opposite side here. So basically we're laying two strands on each side of the bead. Now I'm going to sew back through the beads I just added. <clears throat> and then once I get through all of these, I have to go back through the big bead. I am going to cut this little tail off just to get it out of my way. Okay. So now I am coming out of the stone and I am going to sew back into the beads on one of the strands here. I'm just going to start sewing up through the two 11 O's, the bicone crystal, the two 11 O's, the bicone crystal, and then I'm going to exit out the top last two 11 O's right here. So I'm coming out right here. I'm going to pick up an 11 O seed bead. And then I'm going to go into the strand right across from the one I'm coming out of. So I'm going to go into the two 11 O's here. And I'm just going to pop this little 11 O seed bead right in between the little space that was there. And then I'm going to continue sewing around the strand that I started in here. When I get to the top, I will do the same thing. I will pick up another 11 OC bead, and then I'll go into the other side here and pop this little 11 O right down in this space, just like that. And now I will sew until I'm going to sew through these two little 11 O's right here and then I'm going to exit my crystal. Once I have exited the crystal right here, I'm going to pick up one 11 O seed bead and then I'm going to go into the strand next to it placing the one little 11 O between the two bicone crystals. This is going to bind my two little strands together so <clears throat> that they don't move apart from each other. So I've got my one little 11 0 here. I'm coming out of the crystal here. Now I'm going to go, I'm going to pick up another 11 0 onto my needle. And I'm going to go in, I'm coming out of this crystal. I'm going to go into this crystal right here. and pull. And now I have two little 11 O's sitting on top of the crystals here. I'm going to come back through 
Coming out of this crystal here, I'm going to go back through the little eleven out here. And back through the bicone. Back through the little eleven out here. I just want to make sure I go around in a circle and tighten those up. And now I'm going to sew into the bicone crystal again on this side. Back through this little eleven out here. And then back down into this bicone here. So all I did was come back around so that my needle is facing this way back down so that I can move over to my next set of crystals. So you just want to position yourself so that you can get to the next set of crystals. So you're going to come through the crystal and the two little 11 O's here. Then you're going to go through your next crystal. And again, you're going to pick up one 11 O seed bead and then go into the crystal right across from it and pull your little seed bead down between them. Pick up another 11 O seed bead. You're coming out of this crystal. Go into this crystal right here. Now we're going to sew back around all four of these beads. So we just added these two little 11 O's and we have the two crystals here. So we're going to go back into this little 11 O here. Just going to sew in a circle. Back into this crystal here. back into the 11 O in the middle of them and then back down through this bicone crystal and then through the 11 O behind the crystal too and then the next 11 O in line. So you're just going to come up through the crystal come up through the two 11 O's behind it and then here you are with the space again. So you have to pick up an 11 O so that we can fill in the space. So we're coming out of this 11 O here we're going to go into this 11 0 here and we're going to pop a little 11 0 between them. Just exit the crystal like this. And now I have an 11 0 seed bead in that little space. And I'm exiting my crystal on the other side here. So we're going to bind these two strands together just like we did these two. And the way we're going to do that is the same. We're going to pick up an 11 O seed bead down to our needle. We're coming out of this crystal. We're going to go into this crystal here. And pull the bead between them. Pick up another 11 O. Go into the crystal. You're coming out of this crystal. Go into the crystal next to it. Then again, sew around all four of these beads. You're going to sew through the middle one you added, the little 11 O here down through your bicone crystal, back through the little 11 O, up through the crystal, and then the um, 11 O behind it. So you can move over to your next set of crystals. So go into both these 11 O's between these crystals here, and then exit the next crystal in your next set of crystals here. So here's our next set. We're going to bind them together. We're, going, we're coming out of this crystal here. We're going to pick up an 11 O seed bead and we're going to go into the crystal right across from it and pop the 11 O in between. And again, pick up another 11 O. You're coming out of this crystal. You're going to go into the crystal on the other side and pull. And now we're going to sew back around all of these beads. So I'm going to go back into the crystal, back into the 11 O, back into the crystal on the other side, and then the two 11 O's on the other side of the crystal. Now again, we have, we're back to the top of the bead and we have a space on this side. So we're going to pick up an 11 O seed bead and we're going to go into the crystals or into the two 11 O's and then into the crystal behind it and exit. Pull it tight and that should fill in 
your little beads. Sometimes you have to arrange them a little bit and tighten them up a little bit to close that space. Now, I am coming out of this crystal right here. Now, I want to get real close so you can see this. I want to go into the little 11 0 that I added between the crystals in my last step. An extra piece of thread, yay. Now, I am going to sew, you can see there's a little circle of 11 0 seed beads here. I'm going to sew around them to create a better circle. So, I'm in this 11 0. I'm going to go into this side. And I have a 15 0 in there. This bead here I picked up was an 11 or 15 0, so ignore it. It's supposed to be an 11 0, but it is going to make it difficult for me to sew through again. So I'm going to pull it through this way. And then I'm going to just go ahead and sew until I get all the way around all four of these beads. and come up through the 11 -0 again where I started. Now these are tightened into a little circle. Now I'm coming out of this side of my little 11 -0 seed bead. I'm going to, let's back off just a little or I'm going to get out of frame. I'm going to pick up a bicone crystal. Now I'm coming out of this side here of my 11 -0. I'm going to go into the next 11 0 straight directly across from it. This little 11 0 here. I guess I should get close again and show you. That's too close. So I'm coming out of this one. I'm going to go into this one on the opposite side and into the opposite side. So I'm exiting here. I'm going to go into this side of the 11 0 like this. And then I'm going to pull this little bicone crystal over the top like that. Now I'm going to sew into the crystal here and then the beads behind it. So I'm in this crystal. Sorry about that. Let's get away from my so I can stay in frame. Now I'm going to sew through all these beads behind this little crystal we just exited and move my way back up over to the next section of bicones right on this side. I'm too far away, huh? Oops, sorry. Okay. The picture is so little on my little camera thing, it's hard for me to tell exactly where I am. Okay, so I've sewn up through um, this bicone crystal here and I'm into the little circle of 11 O's here. And again, I'm just going to sew through all the 11 O's and pull them into a nice little circle. So I'm exiting this 11 O behind the crystal I just exited. I'm going to go into all the 11 O's all the way around until I come back into the, crystal, or the 11 O I started in. This just tightens, pulls them together, and gives us a nice base to place our little bicone in that we're going to place. So I'm going to come back through the 11 0 I started in right here. I am now exiting this side of the 11 0 right here. I need to go into this side of this 11 0, but I need to pick up a bicone crystal first. So put a bicone crystal on. Coming out of this side of this little 11 0, go into the opposite side of the opposite 11 0, right here. And pull the 11 0 down tight onto that little circle of beads. And this is what you should have. Let me back off again. Now, these little beads up here have separated a little bit, so I am going to sew into, I'm coming out of this little 11 out here, I'm going to go into my crystal, and I'm just going to pull these beads back together by sewing through them a little bit. I 
I'm going to work my way up into this bicone crystal here. I'm going to go into the little bead here. I'm going to sew around my little 11 O's around this bicone crystal here. I just want to work my way up into this bicone crystal. So <clears throat> I'm going to exit here and go into this little one here and then up into my bicone crystal. Pick up two 11 O seed beads, a bicone crystal, and two 11 O seed beads. And you will drop them down to your work like this. Then you will pick up a wire guardian. And you can see, let's get real close here. A wire guardian. We will go through one side of the little opening and bring it down. And then we're going to grab a hold of the wire guardian and we're going to hold it tight and come through the other side through the little tube and pull while squeezing so that it guides your thread down into the divot on top of the wire guardian. Pull everything tight and then come through the two 11 O seed beads on top and then the bicone crystal. Pull it all down tight. Arrange your wire guardian on top. Then we're just going to squeeze this wire guardian closed so that it lays on top of those little 11 O seed beads real nice and neat. Just like that. Then we're going to pick up two 11 O seed beads and we're going to go into the opposite side of the crystal that we came out of. So we came out of this side and built our little hook. We're going to go into the opposite side and pull them down tight. And that's what you should have. Then, after you do that, you're going to go down into the little 11 seed bead right here, right underneath the crystal. You can sew back up through your connection if you'd like to make it stronger. I'm not going to do that right now. Now this is a little tight, so I'm just going to use my um, chain nose pliers and pull it through. And then I'm just going to come down into the crystal right underneath that 11 0 I'm going to straighten everything out. I'm going to tie a little half hitch knot here on the thread bridge. I'm going to go right underneath this crystal and tie a little knot. Pull it down tight between the beads and then I'm just going to sew through these 11 O's down here and down into the little crystal on the bottom here. and then I'm going to cut my thread. Now you can sew through as much as you want. I'm going to leave just a little bit of thread on the end here. And pull it out a little bit. And then I'm going to melt it in. It finishes off my project. Then you'll pick up one of your ear wires, open it from side to side like this, straighten out your ear wire, or not your ear wire but your wire guardian, put it on the ear wire and close the little ring on the ear wire. And this is what you should have. And this is what the set looks like. Kind of a pretty little set. It's 
back off just a little bit so you can see them. I hope you enjoyed this video. I am designing a necklace that will match this somewhat at least. And this is what the necklace is going to look like right here. So I'm not quite finished with it. As soon as I'm finished with it, I will make a video. I hope you enjoyed this one and you make lots of little earrings. Have a good day. Bye-bye.